Hello guys, Kenny Bandit here and today we are going to take a look at the PS5 and how it actually works like. So in this video, I am going to showcase the UI and different settings that I have adjusted over one month of usage and also be sharing my one month usage experience. So stick on till the end and if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and share it with a friend so that when they get a PS5, they know what all settings they need to configure and they'll be ready to go in no time so watch out for the tips and tricks and watch it till the end to learn more about it so in this video we are going to take a look at the playstation 5 ui now as we power on the console and since i already have my user set up so i'm greeted in this screen but then uh, how it actually goes is you know if you don't have your setup uh, user setup you'll be greeted to this screen when you'll be asked to press the PS button on your console, on your controller. So once you press that, your controller starts and you're greeted into the PS5 where you can see your users. So I'll directly jump into my user. Yeah. So once we are in this screen, you can see there is options uh, to you know, access the store. There is option to go to the media gallery and you can see all your you know, game icons. Now the main idea of the PlayStation 5 UI is to, you know, make sure you are seeing more pictures rather than you're seeing the, you know, icons. So that's why the icons are pretty small in size. And that's really good. Each game has its own uh, custom icon, you know, the background image. The uh, entire concept of dynamic themes is not here. So, uh, and also each game has its own music. So I will later... Turn on the volume, turn up the volume so that you can listen to it as well. And also you can see here there's a games tab and there's a media tab. So if I go into the media tab, you can see it will show me all the media applications. So right now I don't have any applications installed. So where you can see we have Netflix, Prime Videos, Twitch and all the different applications as well, right? So it's good that, you know, uh, PlayStation, uh, Sony this time added two different tabs for games and media, separate them completely rather than have one single uh, profile for them also you can see your games library at the end so the best part about it is everything gets loaded super fast because of the ssd and like i have 27 games right now out so this is my entire collection right and out of which i can check the installed games over here so as you can see i have like six games installed currently and i'll show you how much storage that take uh, how much storage that takes up as well so yeah, this is the games that I have. You can see a lock button on the game of Uncharted since uh, the disc is not it's it's not inst installed, and I have the disc version. So you can see a lock on almost a lot of games. But since I have Last of Us installed, so it shows a disc icon, and same goes for Black Ops. Since it's installed, it shows a disc icon, and this is not installed. That's why it has a lock icon. You can also sort your games based on what platform they are from. If they are a PS5 game, you can sort them as a PS5 game. Or if they are a PS4 game, you can sort them as a PS4 game. So that's pretty handy to check what your games are. Also, you have remote play if you want to connect to external display or something, you know, handy display. Then you have the PlayStation Plus integrated right into the system so that you can pay more money to Sony. And then, yeah, each game has their own set of you know features when you can view the product and you can also see uh, your friends who also have the game on the right side at the same time you can see different promotional material for the game and some news that is there of the game and the general info right since uh, and you can also see the progress that you have made already and you know something new playstation has done are these cards so i'll talk about them in some time so yeah this is about the game window now each game has their own background like I mentioned and also this time the PlayStation Store is integrated into the UI so that it loads up very very fast as you can see here right here. But then something that is missing is you know good categorization or maybe deals uh, that section is missing because you don't know what you're actually looking for and uh, then like you end up uh by you know not viewing the right thing that you want to see maybe you want to see some cool deals that are uh, there on the store or you want to see what's new but then it's not there like you have to really search for whatever you are looking for so but apart from that yeah the in integration of the store is really good 
so we'll dive right into settings so wait wait i'll show you something else so like you know if i oh sorry for starting it up let's just wait until i can close it so yeah i'll show you this as well so while the game is starting up if i press the ps button once so it will show up this small quick menu so the uh, you can close the game from here itself so like i close the game yeah cool so like i was showing you so you can see what all additional downloads you have so since i have last of us part 2 special edition and comes with a few um what do you say additional downloads so i can view them over here so like i pressed original soundtrack so it will replace the game with the original soundtrack and then i can download it and view it and if i want to go to the game i can just go here and press select the game so it will replace the same icon with the game so that's pretty cool uh, it won't you know clutter your start menu with uh, i'll just call it start menu with a lot of icons so that's pretty handy and at the same time you can see your game information like i mentioned earlier so that's there so that is basically most about uh, like you know mostly everything about the home screen that you are first greeted to i'll show you what the quick menu does now the quick menu has the power options where you can turn off or on like you know you can turn it off or put it on rest mode and you can see your profile as to what is your online status what are your profiles how many trophies you have i'll get into these one by one you can see what all accessories you are connected right now so i have the wireless charger controller and i have an option to turn it off or go to the controller settings that i'll be going in a minute you can also see the mic settings so we have the so it's the microphone is the wireless controller microphone so i can either mute it which will turn on a small orange thing on the controller and if i press that so again i'm unmuted without even doing something on the con uh, on the console and you can also adjust the mic levels uh, which will show you right now i'm talking so it's uh, the microphone's on that's why it's showing the vo volume right uh yeah going back to the quick menu you can see uh, what all sounds you have so my sound is red right now in my tv and the speakers is on yeah and also you can see the network settings so like it's connected it's really handy to see if you're you know connected to the internet or not and also to show you a game base so basically friends are integrated in this part so you can see all your friends right from here and you can also see it in your uh, so this will open up basically the games base yeah so this is about game day you can see all your friends over here and when they were last online and you can make parties and here you have your notifications so this will basically basically show you what are your recent notifications your trophies you have earned and then this is something new which is called the switcher where you can access the game that you were last playing but it's not something like a quick resume because it will just launch your game right from the start it won't uh, you know a uh, deep dive to where you left the game so that's there and you can always switch to the home with this button so a few things are missing over here now if i press the options button once i am on the quick menu it will reveal a more it will reveal more features that are you know currently turned off like i don't want music right now to display so i turned it off i don't want a uh, broadcast to display since i don't broadcast to, to be turned off i don't need accessibility so it's turned off i can even choose to switch off networks or sound or mic if i don't want to use them but you see this downloads option between accessibility and network now you might be observing that it's not visible right here now that is because uh, downloads will come only when you are having some downloads or copying going on in your playstation right it just won't show like that so that's that that's something to keep in mind now let's uh, so there is a search integrated right over here which will search the entire playstation uh, network it will search the store it will search a console so let's try searching so you can see uh, there is some uh, like there are a couple of features that are there new to using the keyboard as well so like if you see it says to press l3 and r3 now if i do that and if i'm moving the console so by just moving the console i'm able to uh you know type so if i'm moving the console uh, sorry the controller if you can see i'm moving the controller and i'm able to type wait wait, wait yeah right there so if the way i will move the controller the keyboard pointer will move and i can press the respective keys and type 
so that's that and also they have introduced voice searching so let's just go ahead and try voice searching call of duty oh i think i cancel it call of duty yep so yeah we can see call of duty and it will show everything from the entire playstation network so that's good um, something good about the search let's directly go to settings to see what all we have under the hood so we have a couple of guides and safety information which i don't think so anyone's gonna read so let's skip that uh, a lot of people would not require accessibility but it's good to see so many accessibility accessibility settings so that more people can use the console so that's pretty good and for people who need so i have never used accessibility settings so i don't uh, usually you know go into them but then yeah there is option to change the vibration intensity and trigger effect intensity for people who have sensitive hands so that they can also play it and that's really good uh, since i don't have sensitive hands so i use it as standard but yeah there is option to touch to turn off turn it off as well now we have some network settings wherein we can check what is our network status and we can also test the connection speed so i won't uh, you know go into that because it will show my ip address and i don't know how to edit it out so let's just skip that also you can see your uh, user account uh, information in the user's account like what is the email id what should your profile display what all payments and subscriptions you have what is your address and those things also it'll talk about your privacy so you can choose what kind of privacy you want um from the you know uh, consoles if you want to stay focused it's it's morely it's mostly uh, on how other people will interact with your profile so it also talks about data you provide so you can change how you want to provide your data to sony and you can also link it with other services so i don't have anyone linked right now and other settings it doesn't have much so you can also switch on or off this login setting is similar to ps4 and you can also set a password now you can also set different users you can add users directly from here and delete them as well apart from that you have some parental controls and family controls as well so i don't use it because my personal console so i don't need to use it and i think most of the people watching this video won't even use it as well when it comes to system you can see the console information over here as to what software update you are running on and if you are up to date or not if you go to update settings so you can also check for updates from here and you can report uh, or send you know reports to sony as well so you can see what all uh, how to you know data transfer from ps4 if you are owning a ps4 you can directly come here and transfer your ps4 data to your ps5 and you can have you have uh, options to backup and reset now in hdmi uh, in hdmi options you would want to switch this off enable hdmi device link because if you keep it turned on and say for example you have your sound bar or tv connected and you turn them off your ps5 will go into rest mode after some time now why that will happen because device link uh, it means that you know if the device is not connected or is not turned on then it will your ps5 will recognize and it will adjust the power saving options now you need to enable hdcp so that you know if it if you turn it off if you turn off the settings some games and apps can't be used so you want to use everything so that's why you need to turn it on also you can you know change the language it's pretty basic you can change your time zone and the time format if you want to view it in 24 hours and you can enable remote play and link devices as well so i don't use it so i don't need it and power setting over here you can set uh, how do you want to put your ps5 in rest mode and if you want to put it or not so i my setting my standard is i don't put it to rest mode and what all features you want in the rest mode you can change from here and you can also set the time controller turns off in to save battery life so i put it on 10 minutes of if it's not being used and you can uh, access the web browser settings here so you can you know delete all the excess storage taken by the browser although you don't have a dedicated browser but then yeah the browser is working in the background when you open web pages or some you click on some links so you need to make sure that you know you delete this once in a month so that you know whatever space this browser takes up it will be deleted let's go to storage settings so yeah uh, you saw i have a couple of games installed i have like six games installed and the console is already filled up like it's just 190 gb remaining 
so that's a bit of drawback with respect to the hard uh, ssd that's installed there so i have cyberpunk spider-man demon souls astro black ops and last of us and the best part about black ops is that you can choose what you want and what you don't want so uh, i have already deleted the multiplayer and zombies and all those things but although you need to keep one of them so it's there i don't remember which one and i have the campaign installed so yeah this is how it looks like and you can sort them by whatever way you want and you can select apps and delete them as well and you can see what all media you have in your ps5 from here and you can see what all save data you have from here so this is pretty handy that you know it's divided between ps4 and ps5 so that's there and you this others is basically your system reserves and you can see external storage so if you add a usb drive or a hard drive then you can configure your external storage extended storage and when you go to sound settings you can see what is your input device so if you have a, a headphones with a mic you can configure that as well you can adjust the microphone level to go very low or to go very high that will make it very sensitive so this is usually where i keep it and uh, you want to keep your microphone status when logged in as on uh, if you use your microphone otherwise it will automatically mute it and then you have to again unmute it well that's not a big of, big of a task but yeah and uh, micro microphone status when starting chat or broadcast so you don't want to change that if you use it now your speaker audio options are pretty basic and uh, yeah so you have the option to adjust your 3d audio if you're using any headphones so it will automatically come up wherein you can change the audio levels and yeah these are pretty basic settings and you can also check the volumes on your controller so your controller has a speaker which i use at full volume because you know it has good sound effects when you come to screen and video settings so you you can see all your output information over here so i'm currently using a 1080p 60 hertz monitor so that's all i have I, it's a tv not a monitor so that's what i'm using and you can also set it manually to whatever you know you have so if you're using a 4k you might want to check if your screen is flickering if you can you know use minus one or minus two and this tv does not have hdr so that's why it's off and you can you know turn it on or uh, adjust the hdr settings when it comes to screen settings you get the option to switch the display area if you want a bigger or smaller display display area and yeah you can even dim your screen to save bad uh, electricity so yeah i uh, my screen gets dim after 15 minutes and since you have a dvd or blu-ray player so you can also see uh, what data is there on the disc since Blu-ray disc data. So if you have a Blu-ray disc, you can copy it maybe in there. So I don't have a Blu-ray disc, so I have never tried this one. Over here, you can find all accessories that you have. So I currently have a Bluetooth wireless controller, and this is the Samsung 5 Series, which is a Bluetooth device as well. And you can turn off Bluetooth as well, so you can disconnect your controller, and you can use it via a USB cable as well. Now you can see the controller has vibration intensities and what will be the brightness of the controller indicators so that is also visible from here if you want you can you know make it brighter or dim to reduce battery usage and communication method can be via cable or via, uh, via bluetooth now you can set a media remote i don't have it so i didn't set it set it up and same goes for keyboard and mouth and uh, mouse and the camera when we come to save data and game app settings, so this is also interesting since your PS5 save data is directly stored in the console, but you can save your PS4 data in a USB drive or the console storage as well. And over here you can change your game presets. So you can increase the difficulty by default to make it the hardest or the easiest so that every game will play in that mode only and you don't have to reset it all the time. You can also choose if you want to play in resolution mode all the time or in performance mode. You can also choose how the camera works. So I usually use vertical inverted camera. So I have set it up right here. So I don't have to change in every game. Same goes for the third person. You can change it to inverted or normal. And same you can even check on subtitles if you want it switched on for every game by default or not. Over here you can turn on automatic updates to be downloaded automatically if you have a good Wi-Fi. 
and uh, you you might want to use one about game spoilers if you are someone who is into story games and does not want spoilers so i'm okay with spoilers that's why i turned it off but yeah suit yourself with the setting you like and yeah you want your games to be sy synced with playstation network all the time so you can manually do it but it automatically happens all the time let's go to notification now this is pretty interesting like there is a lot of settings over here now see you're playing a game and you don't want to be disturbed so you can always go and change these settings now these are a bit complex settings so if you turn all off so it won't show any notifications but if you select just one so it will show notification during that time but not in the others now over here i've observed yeah so it will just show pop-ups but it, it won't show during games or videos or broadcast but if you don't want to see pop-ups if you don't want to see pop-ups at all you can definitely hide it completely but if you want to see during videos or during games or during broadcast you can turn it off as and when you required on whatever or whatever notifications you want to see now when it comes to captures and broadcasts so you can uh, configure shortcuts for your create button so create button by automatically if you press one will uh, display the controls if you press and hold it will take a screenshot if you press twice it will record and you can also change the time duration it will automatically record so while you're playing a game the uh, create button like you know it's already recording so if you double uh, uh, press you know press twice the create button it will automatically record a gameplay short gameplay now if you want it for 15 seconds or an hour it's up to you also you can uh, change what type of uh, file format you want your screenshots to be saved in or what kind of file format you want your um, videos to save in and you can also include your microphones audio which can be recorded via your external microphone or through your controllers microphone and if you want you can include your party's audio as well so that's a lot of customization and also during broadcast it can show you what kind of footage you want to stream and same goes with the audio and camera so you can select and choose different uh, aspects on how you want to show your face and similarly for trophies if you want you can save your screenshots for trophies and have a small 15 second video clip or 30 second video clip saved so i don't want those because it will take up more space in the console so i've turned it off you can do as you know you find sufficient so that is a general idea of the console now if you go into this profile icon you can see the online status you can you know choose to not appear online and from here you can access your profile as well which will show you an overview of how many trophies you have how many games you have how many friends you have and you're about as well and what games you're playing so the best part about this console that i like is you can see how many hours you have played your games right so it shows a good amount of data so i'm really happy that you know i have spent 73 hours in red dead redemption i've spent around uh, 33 hours in god of war so it's good to see the data that how much data how much time i've spent and even my trophies data is visible also it will show me my friends data who are online like previously it was shown and also what if you have shared something or not and you can change a few details over here like your name online id and you know you can check out the rest so what else is there uh then you can switch your user which will open up the previous menu where you can change your user and you can log out of the console so this is basically a gist of how the ui works and a few settings that i use on my console and you can change it or modify it based on your requirements so that was a uh, dive into the console's ui and i'm really really happy with this revamp of the ui it looks super clean and it's super fast because of the ssd the images load very very instantly and the music also starts almost immediately so that is like this is just fabulous and everything loads really fast and it looks amazing because of the uh, you know graphic engine that is there in the ps5 and the animations and you know the custom uh, this logo or picture that is there in the background so it's a good customization that you don't have themes i i re i'm really okay with themes not being there and this being there instead so this is really good i really like it and it's good to see the store being integrated so i can you know keep up on what games are being released and order them 
offline because I prefer to have disc games so that I can show you the unboxings as well and also so that you know I have a physical copy I love, like to connect them so it's good to see the store being integrated as well although there are less uh, what do you say less things to see in the store like uh, like it was there in the PS4 store so it was pretty elaborate so that's there and yeah so this is I think uh, about the console now when we come to the controller now uh, I don't think so you will be able to see it right now because it's dark in my room so I'll be showing the controller as well in a moment So here we have the DualSense 5, <laughs> like yeah, it's a DualSense controller and uh, it's a really impressive controller like I've showcased in my unboxing videos. So it's really really responsive to the PS5 and uh, uh, like I don't know how it will operate in one hand but yeah, <laughs> I'll try to make the most out of it. So as you can see it's, it's pretty bulky and I'm really impressed with the quality of the build and uh, no complaints there although the triggers and there's no gap between the triggers that's also pretty impressive so you can you know press uh, there's less time to switch between the triggers that's also pretty good apart from that the build is really good it's pretty big bigger than the ps4 controller and you have a what do you say a microphone a headphone jack as well so that's a good addition to the controller all that was there previously but the best part about the controller i think is the type c port so it makes it charge really fast and the battery lasts around five seven to eight hours so i have you know once i charge the controller i don't have to charge it for two three days again so that's a good thing so uh, more about the controller there is this mute button that's talking about so if you press it it will show an orange light that means it's on mute and if you press it again it's unmute and the ps button this time is not a circle it's in the cutout of a ps so that is also pretty neat you know in terms of customization and the triggers uh sorry what are these called these are called the i don't know what they are called i think the sticks yeah they're called the sticks <laughs> sorry i just forgot them so yeah these sticks i think uh, also are pretty uh, sturdy and are made of good quality so they have grooves over here which adds extra grip to the controller apart from that uh, the touch bar is really innovative there is no light like it was there on the ps4 so vr is a problem for the ps5 so i don't know how they will you know come up with the ps5 vr technology so right now if you want to play a VR on the ps5 you need to use the ps4 controller so that the camera can recognize the light so yeah that is there and this is a really really good pair when it comes to the controller and the console i'm really happy with this purchase now i've been using this console for almost a month now and i'm really happy with the performance that i'm getting the games play really well it's really fast the ray tracing effects are really amazing and they bring the game to life the ssd is really fast so it loads everything really quick and the console is design is superb the console design is really really amazing i'm really hooked on the console design the black and white textures add a lot of you know like a new feel and it's it's like a stormtrooper but then it's really cool the leds switch colors between red blue orange blue and white so that's also pretty neat so yeah this is overall the ps5 and we just had a deep dive in the ui and the settings menu so this is what you can expect from the console and uh, yeah not to spoil much for you guys so you will and obviously i'm doing gameplay videos so you can check those out and you can understand how the console works the game works apart from that yep this has been skinny bandit sharing his experience with the ps5 See you guys in the next one. More gameplay videos coming out. I'm going to get the Hitman 3 really soon. So we'll be doing an unboxing and uh, gameplay walkthroughs of the game as well. So stay tuned for that and see you guys in the next one.